Okay, well, we're back on the Nuatami homestead, and this is the garden plot where we've got a mixed shrubs and annual plants. Well, so both both uh, annual and perennial plants in here. Initial planting was done on the outside edge with hascaps, and they are the um, sort of mid-season varieties that grow through the and produce berries through uh, through the summer. They uh, are a combination of um, tundra and um, aurora borealis um, species. Now the inner row, we've got currants, red currants that you can see here are producing quite well after about um, already just a couple few years. They were bought as, uh, as one-year-olds. Mm. Delicious. In between the row, we've got some uh, Saskatoons, the row of the Saskatoons, and several more of the um, of the uh, of the Hascaps that were also planted uh, this spring. So one-year-old Hascaps that are just barely getting established. So we threw in a little corn. We've got um, some onions that uh, have been uh, produced pretty well. We've already harvested a bunch of them. Potatoes on the outside, and then a mixture of uh, more Saskatoons, currants on the other side here. But this just sort of shows you what you can do on a typical garden plot, good soils. Like in the other two plots that we did for Hascaps, we've got micro clover being grown here. And of course the intention there is to minimize the amount of weeding. Uh, this can be mowed, but also helps to really uh, ameliorate the um, soil with uh, as, uh, nitrogen fixer like, like other perennial plants. These will uh, continue to grow. We'll do a combination of uh, various types of straw mulch and wood mulch in here. We're going to focus on aspen and, and poplar, uh, aspen poplar and, and uh, balsam poplar wood chips because that's obviously natural to this area and it kind of keeps the soil to the right level of acidity to grow a lot of the plants that we're looking. Uh, this is all going to be kind of tied together and we're producing some of the food directly to go to the farmers markets and uh, other partnership initiatives in the community that could use a little help with uh, growing food for, uh, for community members that are in need. Uh, I think overall you can see the Nuatami homestead uh, on the, about a, I'm going to say just over an acre of production here. Uh, we'll be able to have um, a fair bit of production capacity over the years. So look back and come and see what we're going to do uh, in the years ahead. Thanks for joining us.